Hi, this is Bob Boob, the real estate guy. Okay, actually, hi, here's Bob Boob, the real estate guy. Hey, I have the pleasure of doing a video walk to, uh, through for 325 Susquehanna Avenue. Susquehanna Avenue, uh, just north of Lock Haven University. You see I'm kind of doing the spin around here. That is actually a park directly across the street from the house. So you have the world's largest playground right across the street. And then, of course, overlooking the, the river there. I'm not sure how good you can see that. I'll try to zoom that in a little bit. But be absolutely beautiful view. Um, yeah, just really like the setting here. And if you have children or grandkids or friends with kids, that's convenient with the park there for get-togethers. It's a Cape Cod brick home. I'll show you inside, but you see it's got an addition with a sun porch. And then a garage here on the side. We'll walk around the back here. If I don't trip and kill myself in the meantime. Got uh, asphalt driveway right here. But this whole lot here, um, this is all past that super cool black Jeep Patriot there. Going all the way up. This is all part of the property. It's actually like 1.1 plus acres of ground. It's actually a really nice sized property. And it goes up the hill probably to about where that end of that big tree is down there and of course this is just a you know, house is currently lived in by a family with a number of children so this is a really super fun house you'll see trampolines and um, hammocks and all kind of cool things here's the back of the house here and I just want to point out there kind of in the corners where the central air unit is then so this is really this is just a neat place if you like to you know, have the campfire outside or kids playing outside and do all the forts and stuff they want going up that mountain there. They get deer coming in here occasionally and some other wild wildlife, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, let's go inside and take a look. Um, one of the things walking in here, just kind of doing a little bit of dreaming here because it's cheap to dream, but you'll see here, this was an add-on uh, garage here, one car garage, and then there's a little mud room right there that kind of takes you in to the house then. But I'm thinking if you wanted to create a house with a first floor bedroom, that space there would make a great first floor master bedroom with maybe a master bath and then maybe put a pull in garage right in here. So just some different options. So we're going in the house here. Uh, you'll see there's the, the meter. It's a 200 amp service in the house. Of course, the room with all the cabinets, we still call the kitchen. A nice bright kitchen, lots of sunlight. I'm walking around here, I'm gonna be spinning. This house should qualify for all the low down, no money down, low interest rate loans that are out there. Again, as I always jokingly call the alphabet soup of financing, you have FHA and PHFA and RHS, Rural Housing Services, but they're all government-backed loans, and they do have little requirements for houses, but I'm really not picking up on anything with this house of major magnitude to do. I think it's all cosmetic, so nice kitchen. You see we've got beautiful wood floors coming into the, the dining room area. And I remember outside there was kind of pointing to you to that addition for the garage. That's the mudroom that we have there. And then as we come off the dining room, we come into a really nice size living room with a bright uh, or a beautiful fireplace. Bright color too with the yellow. This house, like I said, it's just fun. It has energy and uh, you can just kind of see that. And there's the hammock. Isn't that one of the coolest things to have in your living room? I think so. Uh, Let's see what else. Oh, yeah, I can't forget to show you the sun porch over here. This has got a beautiful wood floor to it as well. And there's a reason they call these sun porches. This is all windows. And let me think this through. I am now looking southeast. Sorry, I reeled her with a bad sense of direction. Looking again towards that park in the river again. So you get lots of morning sunlight coming in here. And then it's kind of a neat view out here. Here, oh, there's the bird feeder you can fill up to watch the birds and then there's the back of the house again so just giving you kind of another view here of the living room all right let me think you know what i'll take you upstairs first show you the bedrooms and the bath and i'll take you downstairs to show you the utilities all right be right back okay now i'm upstairs here at 325 susquehanna avenue this would be the smallest of the three bedrooms uh, you can see if it's nicely for kids or guests and then we come into this bedroom and this has got the, the bunk bed bedroom, I'll call it. This is really, this is a nice size bedroom. This is neat with these Cape Cods. You have this dormered window looking out. That looks like a newer, yeah, it's a newer window in there. 
I kind of like these storage areas too, whatever the original person did. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is kind of a neat spot that you can hang out here. What a neat place. But they uh, built it so that you can use the part of the roof line, can I call it the attic area, for some storage then. You got little could be holes or hobbit holes here throughout the house. And we come back into the hallway. So here's a nice picture window area to sit. But again, here we're looking at the back of the house. So that's going to be facing more west towards north from this direction. And here's the bathroom. Has all the necessary stuff here. This has got the tile going around the wall here. And there's an ugly guy with an orange coat. You won't miss him. Okay, and then we come back into the master bedroom here. So this is the largest bedroom. So this is nice size. And again, it has some of the built-in areas there that you can access. And then of course there's drawers built in and then a closet area. So again, this is a you know, really nice size room. And then we come back out to the hallway. All right, I'm gonna push pause and I'm gonna show you the basement. Okay, now we're down in the basement area and you're gonna see here's where the laundry area is. It's kind of a neat setup here. I think there's some potential here to take it even further. Of course, you have the laundry area down here in the lower level, but you can see a former owner put a toilet and the sink down here. There's the 200 amp electrical box then. But it seems like, like I'm six foot and I'm standing up comfortably down here. It seems like maybe this could be finished off for, like, can I call it a primitive, like a rec room almost area. You can kind of see the different layout here. There's an outside entrance um, that takes you outside. That's why they call them an outside entrance. <laughs> um, but it's got the normal door, so it's easy for carrying things in and out. So it could make a nice workshop area, possibly down here. You wouldn't have to carry tools and wood and stuff down through the inside of the house. And then there's your electric hot water heater. You have a double tank, uh, oil, forced hot air furnace. And then again, must be sharing the ductwork and the plenum for the central air unit that we saw earlier outside then and I think guys that is the gist of the house so thank you very much for watching the video my name again is Bob Boob I work with First Choice Realty my cell phone is 220-0741 you can call my company anytime at 398-0690 if you have your own realtor that's cool we co-broke with our comrades just fine from other companies and if you have any questions on financing maybe you got to sell a house Maybe you're just not sure with your financing because your credit or you're challenged with closing costs. When there's a will, there's a way. Just get a hold of me and I would be honored to help you out the best I can with your real estate needs. Have a great day. Bye-bye.